I think it's time you take a 40 minute shit. Hey, it's Heather Chauvin, wife, mother of three boys, former social worker, breadwinner, recovering hustler, and stage four cancer survivor. I'm not a fan of that term, by the way. Beyond all of these titles and labels, I'm a human being, just like you, attempting to navigate it all while feeling good. My goal on this podcast is to show you that you can live an energized, sustainable life, both at home and in your work. It doesn't matter if you stay at home full time, if you work from home, you're a CEO, a a successful business owner, or trying to find some inspiration. On this show, I attempt to keep it real with stories, interviews, and random thoughts. This is not a business or career podcast, and it's not a parenting podcast. It's both and so much more. You will laugh. You may even cry. And you may even get a little frustrated with the truth you've been hiding from yourself. I believe all human behavior is a language, whether it's through your child's behavior, your health, or a relationship. And when we learn to listen instead of react, we begin to understand what it truly means to feel alive and in control. It's time to put your big girl pants on and find your brave. Let's go. Okay, ladies. Oh my gosh, I am back. And today I am on my soapbox. So I want to give a huge shout out to Melissa and Dorit because Dorit asked this question inside um, the Mamas in Control community and asked about the challenges that women are experiencing with their partners during this time. And some said you know, this is not a challenge for me because a lot of them were mentioning um, feeling like their husbands were being selfish. This was the term, selfish, right? My husband is being selfish during this time. And so I was observing and watching the uh, comments that came in and someone mentioned you know, my husband takes 40 minute shits when they used to be only 20 minutes. And it was like, it was a joke. I totally know it was a joke. But at the same time, I don't think she was joking. And here's the deal. I think it's time you give yourself permission to take a 40 minute shit. We need to stop projecting on our partners, male or female, or whoever your partner is, or if you're by yourself, of why we cannot give ourselves permission to create space for what we need in our lives. Like, enough is enough. I am so fucking tired of women persecuting their partners or the lack of a partner because they refuse to give themselves permission to do the work they need to do to feel whole, happy, healthy, and calm. We need to take radical responsibility for how we want to feel in our lives. So this question about equal partnership, also somebody commented and posted a little video about Dr. Shafali. Um, If you're not familiar with Dr. Shafali, you need to buy all of her books and absorb them. Dr. Shafali Um, One of the best ones she has is called The Conscious Parent or The Awakened Family. Please go. It's all about conscious parenting. It will get you into this world of conscious parenting and conscious discipline. Um, But I'm not going to go down that rabbit hole. So it was about 50-50 partnerships. And many times women, you know, will talk to me about like Heather I don't understand. Like he just will not do this or they will not do this. And I'm like, that's because you fucking let them. That is because you fucking let them. Now, listen, I am raising three boys. I am married to a man. One out of two of my dogs is a male. I am surrounded by male energy. And I am telling you, They have very primal brains. Men are amazing. Male energy is amazing. But listen, 
they don't, we call it selfish, but that's because we're projecting our belief that taking time and space for yourself is selfish. That is the number one thing that I hear women say is self-care is selfish. I feel guilty when I create space for myself. Fuck off. I am so fucking done with that shit. Stop using this as the excuse of why you do not feel good enough. Just, I'm done. I am so done. Take away the partner. Take away the children. Now what is your excuse? I'm interrupting today's podcast to let you know that I have created an amazing experience for you. And guess what? It's 100% complimentary. Yep, free to you. It's called Getting Out of Your Own Way. It's a mini course, and you can get access to it right now. All you have to do is head on over to heatherchauvin.com forward slash workshop. Myname.com forward slash workshop. And all you have to do is fill out your name and your email. You're going to get a PDF and also the accompanying uh, videos. But listen up. We don't need to go at this alone. So if you're feeling misaligned, burnt out and you can't help think there must be something more than when you register before April 13th, you're going to be, um, you're going to go into a private Facebook group in that private Facebook group. I am going to be running this mini course live. So me in real time doing the work with you, it's a four part mini series. So head on over to Heather com forward slash workshop step-by-step guidance on how to get what you want, define what you do, uncover what your soul is truly craving. So you can show up as your best self at work and for your kids. Get out of survival mode and start creating the life you desire. Let's go. You're still going to come up with an excuse. You have to realize when you take away all of your barriers, you are left with yourself And this big gaping hole inside of you that says, I do not feel worthy of having what I want and desire in my life. And nobody's going to give that to you. So you're going to put a child in front of you. You're going to put a partner in front of you. And you're going to say, they are being selfish. They are being selfish. So if they are being selfish, what are you going to do about it? There's a reason why they're being selfish. You've given them the space to do it. I'm telling you right now, if your husband takes 40 minute shits and you already had something planned to do, I'm not saying you can get in your car and go anywhere because you can't really do that right now. Well, you might be able to get in your car and go somewhere, but you won't get very far. So what is it that you were going to do? If you had something pre-planned with your partner and it was on your calendar, you can't get angry because you have to implement the boundary, right? So when you're feeding your need and going, ah, oh, here's another area of my life where I'm complaining and I'm projecting and persecuting onto somebody else, great. What are you going to do about it? Take a bath, sit in that bathtub. And if you feel uncomfortable and guilty, just keep sitting there. Sit and sit and sit and sit in your guilt. If you need to take a shit, I, like just allow your bowels to release fully for crying out loud. Take your 20 minute shit, take your 40 minute shit, read a fucking novel in there if you have to. Because get this, okay? You didn't die. You're still alive, hopefully. No dead souls are listening to this podcast. You are still alive. And if you would have not purposely put yourself in this position and said, please, God, please, universe, lock me in my house with my family for months on end, Take away my paycheck or make my life more miserable when I need to figure out how to homeschool, which is not really homeschooling, how to educate my children and not harm them and 
mentally keep my mental sanity and blah, 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 blah. So this is go time. You've now been given this opportunity to show the fuck up in your life. So everything that you've resisted before about creating space for yourself and feeling like other people are being selfish, guess what? You now have the opportunity to quote unquote, I'm using air quotes here, be selfish. This is the number one belief that women hold and it is killing their souls. It is killing their souls because if you only understood the trickle effect of your belief that creating space for yourself is selfish, you would see the damage that you're doing for generations to come. Because when I give myself permission to do whatever the fuck I want, when I want, guess what? I give my husband full permission to do the exact same thing. And there's no anger or resentment. And I give my children full permission to be who they want to be. And there's no anger or resentment. Be you. Be you. But you won't be able to get there until you start leaning into this. You don't just wake up one day and all of a sudden you never feel guilty. You have to lean into the guilt. You have to take the action anyways, even though you feel guilty. It will not just show up. So today's podcast was all about take that 40 minute shit. I am not kidding. Go above and beyond. Wipe your ass with like organic baby wipes and just take good care of your ass for 40 minutes and just see how miraculous your life feels because you begin to create space for what you truly need and desire. I hope today made you laugh. I don't care if you take a 40 minute shit. The intention is to create space for what you need and you want in your life and stop, please stop telling other people That by meeting their needs is selfish. If you don't open your mouth and speak up and ask for what you need, don't expect it from anyone else. I hope you enjoyed today's podcast. And if you did, please share, review, like, tag me on Instagram at Heather Chauvin. And just know you are not alone. I truly believe as women, when women help women, we rise together. And now more than ever, we need to make that ripple effect and become the person that we most desire everyone else around us to be. And if you need a little additional support getting you through this time and through this process and up-leveling your life, whether it's personally or professionally, I have something for you. It's the free Getting Out of Your Own Way mini series. It's a mini course. You can actually start it right now if you head on over to heatherchauvin.com forward slash workshop. On April 13th, I'm going to be going through this process um, inside a Facebook group, and the link for that is when you join. So, heatherchauvin.com forward slash workshop. During this four part mini series, I'm going to dig deep with you. I'm going to talk about how to push through that guilt. What is your brave zone? How to manage your time in alignment with how you want to feel, how to deal with all these big emotions that are coming up, where to put them when you just got to get shit done. So nothing happens unless you take action. So head on over to heatherchauvin.com forward slash workshop. I look forward to seeing you on the inside.